Choose happiness. Think positive thoughts. Change your beliefs, change your life. The last one is true though. If you do change your beliefs, you will change your life, but that's not the point. The point is stop telling me to think positive and to choose happiness when true personal growth often doesn't come from thinking positive and thinking positive thoughts is not going to help me if what I want is true healing. In the last year, I have felt so many negative emotions and I have had so many negative thoughts that it has been absolutely overwhelming. In my whole life, I have never cried so much and I've never experienced so much anxiety and emotional pain and distress like I have in the last year. Now, mind you, I'm a very positive person. I always look on the bright side. I'm the happy, positive, cheerful friend. I always believe that things are working out for me, even if I'm curled up in a ball crying on the floor. I still love life. I'm still grateful for this human experience, but I'm fed up with seeing this advice and hearing people say, just think positive thoughts, just wake up and decide to be happy when I know it's not going to actually help me. And to illustrate my point, I want to show you something. So here's a glass full of water. This is clear water. And at the bottom there is clay. This clay represents all my fears my childhood stuff, trauma, subconscious beliefs, habits, all the gunk, all the heavy baggage that I have never dealt with. Not only that, uh, this has been completely suppressed outside my conscious awareness, ruling my life without me even knowing it. In the last year, I have been delving into myself deeper like I have never done before. I've been looking at my beliefs, my past, my childhood, my behaviors, my habits, my reactions. I've been trying to put the puzzle pieces together of why I am the way I am and understanding how I came to be this way. And it is absolutely terrifying. You are confronted with yourself like you've never been confronted before. And it's the weekly therapy for me, the breath work, journaling, meditation, all kinds of different practices. And it's very, very scary. As I've been doing that, this is what has happened. Everything got stirred up. Everything got stirred up and the stirring up resulted in the nonstop crying, anxiety attacks, um, not knowing what's real and what's not real, questioning my mind, not trusting myself, uh, living in delusions, shattering of expectations and putting so many things together that I never even thought about. And it is very, very scary. I am in this muddy water right now. I can't see clearly. I'm lost. I don't know where I am and I don't know who I am. What I'm working on right now is getting rid of all the gunk, all the crap that was at the bottom of the glass. I am changing a lot of deep rooted beliefs that I've had about me, about life, about love. I'm releasing a lot of pain. I am looking at a lot of parts of myself that are anything but pretty. I am doing some deep cleaning right now. And when I say that I'm doing some deep cleaning, what I mean is I am pouring in fresh, clear, healthy water. I don't know how long it's going to take, but sooner or later, the muddy water will be replaced by fresh water. Sooner or later, even if I doubt it myself, I know that I'll be able to see clearly again. I'm a self-help fanatic. I love personal growth. I've done so many workshops and courses and seminars. I've read so many books, listened to so many podcasts, done so many practices. You name it, I'm probably into it and I've probably done it. Don't take this out of context. However, there is such a thing as toxic self-help and toxic personal growth and bypass when you just completely ignore your problems, suppress them, put on a smile and say, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. So you want to transform and heal. You want to have empowering thoughts and beliefs. You want to have healthy relationships. You want to get rid of bad habits and behaviors. You want to feel peaceful and calm in your body and in your mind. Well, first you have to stir up all that mud that has been sitting at the bottom of the glass. You have to stir up all the things that have been in the deepest and darkest parts of your psyche. And when you do, the last thing you'll want to hear is somebody telling you just think positive thoughts. And the last thing you'll want to do is to just wake up and choose happiness. 
Now look, many people continue living with all this mud and all this dirt at the bottom of their glass. Maybe they know it's there, maybe they don't, but they don't do anything to clear it out. And that's all right, because that's a choice as well. But I'm talking to me and I'm talking to you, to somebody that has hopefully committed to doing some deep cleaning and losing sight of everything you ever knew so you can become better, you can become healthier, and you can become happier. And happier on a deep soul level, not the superficial type of happiness. If you're currently in your life, like me where you don't think a lot of positive thoughts and you don't feel very happy and you're confused maybe you cry a lot maybe you're really anxious you're lost you're stuck it's okay i'm with you i am you don't let some guru wannabe on instagram shame you for not thinking positive thoughts because that is the key to like having the best life ever and if you just thought positive magically everything would be okay for deep healing, you need to look at the things you've never looked at before. You need to look at the past, at your behaviors, your habits, your patterns, your addictions, your traumas. You need to look at that and you need to face yourself and it's not easy. Cry, journal, release your anger, release all your emotions, look at what needs to be looked at, lose your temper, mess up, cry some more, try again, keep going. Just don't get stuck swimming in that muddy water. Keep pouring in fresh water. And I'm not there myself yet, but I know that at some point, the muddy water will be replaced by clear water and we're gonna be able to see again. True personal growth, true awareness, Real deep healing is not for the faint of heart. It's not easy, it's not pretty, and often it's anything but positive and happy.